I loved Crystal Chronicles. You shut up. <laughs> okay. Now that's out of the way. Um, you're marching down this long corridor. There is a... Uh, like, I, as you're getting closer, actually. I think Gratz would be the most perceptive to this. Because your first starts to stand on end. As you get closer to the door on the other side. And there's more electricity sparking. There's more pylons. There's more of these coils. As you're clearly getting closer to the uh, the hyperdrive bay, essentially, and you could feel you can feel the energy because this is not just a, a this is not just a hyperdrive in a ship. This is not just a hyperdrive in a big ship. This is a weird experimental hyperdrive that's powering the weird experimental science of this ship. And you can almost feel it in pulses uh, all amongst your fur. There is a big bay door. Uh, and, and this is actually looks extra secure. You know, you can see the, uh, the arms on it that would push and pull the metal slates apart. <clears throat> what do you want to do, team? Uh, wait, it, wait so is it still one long corridor towards the You're end? You're at of the, the end of the long corridor now. I look to Gratz. We got to go in there and blow the ship up. It's easy. Okay. I'm going to post up Actually, beside one of the doors. To be completely There's only honest. what you, there's like sorry, beside one side of the door is what I was trying to get at. Thank you. Words. Okay. I'm a brain yeah. no good today. <laughs> no. Raise the gun and look at Gretzger. go, we'll open it. <laughs> okay. I open it. <laughs> you open the door and there is a blast of concussive force. Uh, from the door. Miraculously, behind the door, that huge bodyguard of Officer Darlow, that Duros in the plated armor, the armored hood, is carrying this, has mounted this big, chunky, awkward looking, uh, like mechanic kit bash weapon. It lets out this blast of repulsor energy that actually, uh, you're all going to need to give me uh, coordination checks. Jack. You're going to do it last. Okay. Because you're actually going to get a blue dice because you pitched up behind uh, the door, which is crazy I did the good. smart thing. You did. Put the yep. behind the wall. <laughs> uh, coordin- uh oh. <laughs> yeah, well, Voka, Voka, so. you're going to go first. I'm going to use dark side point. Please give me a coordination you can, check. You can do it. That's not a success but two advantages. We'll get back to what it does later. Uh, Gratz, please go. Great. And now, Jack, I've added a blue dice on my side. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> what the fuck? Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, Hello? Hold up. So. Um, okay. Uh, First, let's deal with uh, Voka. Voka, you do have two advantages that you can do something with, but as that, you know, you set up that blaster kin kinetic energy from the repulsor blaster just pff, hits you, you are gonna go sailing backwards, uh, nearly off the railings into the electricity and the pylons. Is there anything that you want to do with those advantages? Is, that's a free, uh, uh, thing, isn't it? Can I just I immediately it. fire back? Like, like mid-air? <laughs> yep, like mid-air. Uh, like oh, mid-air yeah, fire yeah. back? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I am going to increase the difficulty because you're flying through the air. Yeah, that's uh, fair. That's but, fair. That seems reasonable. But it would have been short range, so it's actually not that hard anyway. Um, <laughs> please go ahead. Ah, I hit him, I'll take it. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, so you do hit him. Uh, this does 10 damage. So this guy, all you know him as is Darlow's bodyguard. You saw him yep. multiple times before. He scared you once, Tesh. And he's, he's he takes that shot and then he starts to like move around the gun. Like clearly to go in for the kill. And you just... Poof, like a spray of gun, uh, of blaster bolts as your midair. And it is just going to hit him. <laughs> It's going to leave burning, smoldering, molten chunks of his armor. But the dude does take the hit and uh, keep on moving. 
Uh, that is then going to send you with both the failure and these triumphs. Yep, yep. You are going to tumble off the edge of the railing into the uh, section below this corridor, which, like I said, it's... Like, you can jump back up, but it's electricity, it's pylons, it's all that thing. You're going to take two strain from the electricity surging around and the static and the the, the force yeah. uh, immediately. And you're knocked prone down there. Uh, Gratz, you just... You just, like, tumble, but, like, take it and land properly, you know? Yeah. Jack... That's soft bones. <laughs> Jack, uh, on the other holy, hand. What uh, the fuck? I mean, you've got a triumph. You yeah. can do something with. Do something vital to change the scene, right? So, um... Mm -hmm. The door is open. The hyperdrive bay is is open behind him. You can barely see it, because this dude, this Duros, just bulky, huge. Uh, but you can see, there's just like a blue light <laughs> that washes from the engineering bay, from the hyperdrive bay. Okay. Um, what are you thinking? I'm so there's a couple of different avenues. We're clearly getting into a fight presently. Um, weirdly, you are going to roll initiative after this, yes. Yes. So, um, I guess what I'd like to do is while I'm while I'm falling with the triumph, doing something vital to change the scene. Um, basically, I want to shoot the grates out from under his feet so that he falls down to where Voka is. Oh yeah. shit! That's um, that's that's perfect. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, then with the advantage, because there's also five of those. Yes. Could you give him a <laughs> negative defense? Giving him negative defense. Um, and then I'd also like to perform a free maneuver. Um, Excellent. Which is, I guess, I don't know, what should I do with the free maneuver at this point? Uh... I, you know what? Shoot, shoot him, him on his way down. Yeah. <laughs> shoot him on his way down. Why not? Awesome. Let me set up that difficulty. Uh, he would be short <laughs> This guy range, is like, he? his perfect ambush has just gone crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's Star Wars, baby! Alright. Let uh, me know. This should <laughs> be it. I don't now think you can get... This is pod racing. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think you can get to one difficulty in ranged, can you? Uh... Well, he does. Well, I don't know. Let he's, me he's, check. Let me bring up the lowered. chart. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think you don't think so, though. What you? I, I'm pretty sure you can, because isn't medium to short one? The, uh, that's the question. I don't know if that's the case. Got up the thing. Range bands. Of course, it's not in that part. Oh, engaged of course is, not. No, engaged is, is one. Yeah, so it's a one shot. Yeah. His defense okay. doesn't apply. Okay. Let me know when. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> um, Do you want that to be okay. a crit? I mean, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what, what else are you going to do with it, really? Yeah. So that's going to be seven in the head damage. As he goes down. Um, which he, again, he takes. Absolute chonker of a dude. Um, mm -hmm. he... so I have critical three on this. I don't know what that... Oh, that's, that's that, doesn't, that doesn't matter. That so doesn't please matter. roll yeah. me a D100. Um, yep. but based on what happens, then I finally get to describe the scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's an 89? <laughs> Holy that's shit! Great. That's, uh, <laughs> that's not going to be, do you, do, do you know what that might be? Am I? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's compromise. That increases all his difficulty by one until the end of the encounter. So you <laughs> blast out the ground from under him and take a few just sprays at him at the same time. Uh, you are going to, with that threat, you are going to fall prone. Not the the worst thing in the world at the moment. I am um, okay with this. Absolutely. This fine. The the bodyguard falls through the ground. There is a and as he does, like the railings fall down on top in the molten metal. He lands awkwardly, and he you actually can see him quite clearly, Voka. You have dark vision. It's dark down here, aside from the sparking of the light. And you see him like take off that armored hood. That's all these plates of um 
laminate armor, like take it off and throw it aside and like rub the uh, engorged cranium of a uh, of him. Can we all roll initiative? Yeah. <laughs> uh, vigilance. Be vigilance. <laughs> I think it's vigilance. Yeah. Sick. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you, Dad. <laughs> this is why I want to roll vigilance. <laughs> oh my! God. I just rolled my third triumph in, I know. Like, in four rolls. Oh, Wait, man. is it in three rolls? Hold on. It's in oh. three rolls. It is in three rolls. You yep. literally roll the triangle the last God. three rolls in a row. Yeah. Okay. That's not okay. Anyways. So let me describe the scene. Please do. We got above and we got below. Above, you're scattered on the hallway side with the hyperspace bay or hyperdrive bay there. The hyperdrive is this big engorged thing. It looks like someone who's tried to soup up uh, an, an engine, but done with like imperial technology and credits, you know. Uh, you can see behind it almost like these coils of where the energy has to be rooted through before going into all these tubes. So it does throb with blue light. There is a major console that has like two sides and there's two uh, more imperial uh, navy troopers there. They actually have got their pistols out and ready. Um, uh, there's also two turbo lifts on either side of the room, uh, as well as hatches that most likely go into the further parts and stuff like that. Voka, down below, yeah. where all the, the cables, the water runoff, the pylons, all that sort of thing, it's dark aside from the sparking, but within uh, short range is uh, the... Actually, you would have been launched back, so let's say... No, it's still short range. Um, we're in short range is the bodyguard who is pushing himself up off the ground. Um, you very much doing the same because you were also knocked down. So yeah. both of you are going to need to do a maneuver to push back up. Soften do up for you there, Voka. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. In, in, in that case, uh, I'm going to do the maneuver to get up. Uh huh. And then I'm going to take some strain. I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> With the big gun? With the big gun. Okay. Add I'm that strain. Gonna... Getting high on strain, but worth it. And I don't think triumphs to do anything in initiative, huh? They make you do better wanna... than anyone else, but no. Do I want to use a, a, a light there. side just to make sure this guy dies? Hmm. Might be a little early for that in this one. I'd say not on this. Okay. Yep, let's, yep. let's see how he feels after a few shots. Noted. We still got to deal with his boss. Keep that in mind. Very true. I'm going to throw a cover in there. You know, there's all the cables and wires and hanging great that he was shot through and sparks and all of that. But that's still one difficulty, one black dice. That's still not hard. Uh, you may fire when ready. No, you know what? Well, uh, no, you, you two know free, what? two free. You, you did, you beat me. That's fine. Uh, I'll allow it because you missed. Um, but that is it's two okay, advantages. Because I minutes. can re-roll. Oh, oh, I can, can fire again, can I? Good With two advantages. Yeah. You already used one maneuver to stand up. That's true. Oh, okay. Can't go then I, I can use my special ability to redo re that shot. shot. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Please do. Yeah. That's all, that's all you want is another uh, shot. So. This is going to be one of those ones, like, you take a shot at him, and this is, you know, this is horror movie-esque, you know, uh, or Hulk in the helicarrier, more accurately, because there's sparking lights. Can I say that re-roll is me shooting the grate out of the way first, then shooting him? <laughs> Excellent, yeah. Brilliant. He's like, tries to move behind some stuff, but you just, like, trail perfectly and blast, and that, that's loud, you know, that reverberates up through the whole uh, encounter. Uh, I, you don't want to hear it, but he takes it. Oh yeah, I guessed as much. <laughs> Only just though. Oh, he, takes he that a shot. beefy boy. He takes that shot, kind of staggering down, but pushing back up. 
Next <laughs> is... He's still up. He's still up. <laughs> Next is Jack. And then it's uh, bad boys, bad boys. Uh, I mean, I'm going to shoot at the naval troopers because I need to clear okay. a way for Gratz to get in there. That's pretty much the intention here. So. Gonna put you at... What, what would we say this uh, is at? You're, you're at the door, so that's going to be short range. Gratz is, hey. is uh, medium. He got launched. Hey. He got yeeted. There. You he used the power good. word yeet against me. Mm. <laughs> He's little. He flies far. Let me know. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, I was just checking the, the soak and wound and thrust of that. Okay, four oh advantage. God. I'm. Can I just actually reduce force strain with that? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that. That's and fair. then immediately take two strain to fire again. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot stop this. I mean, the other way that could have gone is two of those to fire again, two of those to heal strain, sir. It works either it, way. It, exactly, yeah, I was, know. That's that why it's perfect, because it does yeah. all connect up. Okay. Uh, well, I'm just going to heal strain <laughs> with all of that. With that failure, this is just me taking out my frustration and feeling better about everything. <laughs> Is, does that mean Jack's doing like a Rambo yell as he's like shooting the pistol in the doorway? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. The frustration <laughs> finally got me. <laughs> it's like an ugly yell. Yeah, it's yeah, not pretty. <laughs> it's not pretty. He's Let not. Let me see your war face. <laughs> you, know, you know that yell when Han Solo is chasing down the stormtroopers down <laughs> yes. the corridor yes. in Cloud City? <laughs> or no, is that? Yeah, well, whatever. Anyways. Then, it, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, yeah. deal with the bodyguard, the Duros. He takes this shot. He's smoking at this point. You can see that the holes are smoking, and you can smell uh, cauterized flesh from the the blaster bolt wounds. He just is gonna charge you, Voker. He's just a doo -doo -doo -doo. gonna use two maneuvers. And he's gonna go in. I'm gonna use a dark sign. Yeah. You yeah. know I you know I gotta do it to you. Yeah. Oh that that's all that matters. Worse. Yeah. Oh, that's actually not too bad. That's only uh, one damage. One damage to you. It's yeah, one you damage, but when an unarmed attack hits, you can choose to knock someone down or disorient them, and that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna crack. Gonna knock you down. Knock down. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Cool. Um, and it's uh, it's like the the edge of his gauntlets just make this kind of like almost like shovel shape that just cracks you in the side of the head. Um. Oh, but yeah, fuck. it doesn't do that much damage because it is uh, martial. But that's the, the counterpoint. Uh, Oakley Dokley, next to those Navy troopers who uh, are going to shoot together. They're going to be shooting. They're actually going to shoot at Gratz because they can shoot, see Gratz. Oh, yeah, uh, I did just kind of shoot out in the open and then get back behind cover. So <laughs> this great, is I'm probably just going to die. That's fine. Well, you haven't been shot yet. Both you of us have. You are medium range. You are medium range. So that's okay. Yeah. yeah. See? They're going to, like, Fine. take their own defensive positions while shooting. Um, But they're, like, kind of behind the console in the best way possible. It's not really going to be proper cover. Um, uh, shots skim past you. There's probably, like, a duck and... And, and move sort of thing. They are going to have a single advantage that they are going to... Uh... Is that them getting behind that cover? That's them that getting idea. behind that cover. Yeah. yeah. Then it's Gratz. You're I'm just jumping right around, be not around. getting shot. And I just say to Jack, just say, can you do something about these guys, please? I got to work here. And I'm just going to run towards them <laughs> try to get trust to oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit one of the consoles basically like i'm just trying to get to do what we came here to do that's two maneuvers to get all the way yeah. to the consoles this turn which is what i'm gonna do i just take the serenity run that's my whole turn is moving 
you you hear as you're running up, it's like, it's running towards us! We didn't plan for this! Like, they're trying to, like, <laughs> position themselves properly, and, like, they're firing at you as you're running at them. And it's you just don't <laughs> care. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. It's rapid! It's rapid! <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Uh, we haven't had our shots yet! This station is, wasn't approved! Next is Voka, you're down on the ground. Can I this dude's just, going, uh, standing over you, and he's about to just pummel again. Can, can I just use the pistol and just, from a hip, like, on the ground, just... Uh, I believe in this system you do need to use a maneuver to bring out a weapon. Uh, oh, okay. Unless you have a special trait that allows you to not do so. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's the case. Just every that's, weapon, it's That's a, correct. It's just okay. a to switch. Know that. But if that's you want to use the strain... Thing, but... uh, no, totally I can't handle the strain right now. Uh, I'm You gonna... can shoot at him with the big gun, but I'm gonna throw many a penalty on that one. <laughs> uh, I, I, I do in fact have... A, well, a, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shot at him with the gun. I'm also just gonna use that second wind ability to get rid of one of the strains. <laughs> so, it's a heavy weapon. Shooting... Yep. N negative in, in engaged. Or increased difficulty in engaged, I believe. Yep, it's increased difficulty. I'm also gonna add, uh... I'm gonna add two black from the, the whole, you know, he's standing over, this is a big gun. Uh, there's the cover and all of that. I'm only gonna lower it to one. You know, it's not true cover, because it's just all this sort of situation. And you also aren't affected by the darkness. So... Uh, light side? Yep, yeah, that would be, that would be yeah. a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you may fire when ready. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just fucking, like, I just imagine him just like, he hits the ground, thuds and bounces a little and just, ugh. <laughs> Look, every time you knock him around, there's a blaster shot coming at you. <laughs> That's <laughs> just the real answer. Right? There is a, you, you, you fire that shot, there's a blast of red, your visor, your, your kind of like, uh, uh, implants kind of fizzle, and then you just see the headless body of the bodyguard <laughs> just stagger for a bit. You, it... The head is just removed, and it and it's and it, the, the most troubling thing. He stay stay standing up for like a good twenty seconds before eventually falling. <laughs> That's like Mark is like staring at him like, is this is this no is, is, is not a mind? droid is he no uh he's, he's gone oh there he is good. <laughs> there he is <laughs> alrighty I mean, <laughs> you hear a pain got him from down like, proud of you ne next is Jack. <laughs> I'm very proud of you, Voka. <laughs> I'm gonna fire at these navy. <laughs> okay. No uh, penalty. Okay. Actually, yeah, one one cover penalty. There we go. Oh, do I take that mm. as strain, or are you using that? Um... Mm. Mm, good question. Yes, I like question like this. As much as I hate to bring that up, I no, have no, to. No, no, it's reasonable. Yeah, no, no, it's reasonable. <laughs> No, I think that is just a strain. You know, you're still down here where okay, the cool. electricity yep. flows. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me know when. Go ahead. Thought you were gonna break it the song. Yeah! Though. Oh, <laughs> dang! That's really uh, nice. Ooh. Recover one system strain, add boost, next allies check. Uh, notice something important. Inflict critical injury. No, you Damage need to- that has to go- nope. You have to have enough advantages to trigger the crit. Yes. Yes. Which is how you've been rolling recently. Uh, yeah. You actually could uh, have done that with some of your other shots as they're doing strain. Uh, no, I needed the strain down. I'll be honest. I know. With you. I, I, I will know. tell you, depending on the result of where they're standing, I may be shooting again. Um, with well, that, I will tell you, that doesn't strain. kill either of them. That takes one of them Good. down, uh, like pushed against the console. Good. It doesn't kill either. Um, then I'll use that advantage to give Gratz a boost to his next check. Yeah, that, like, um, clears the guy who would have been right next to him, like, away with yeah. the blast, you know? And I am gonna shoot again, taking two strain, um, to Hopefully. do so. Hopefully. Well, alright. Uh, I'll just recover one of those two strain that I just took. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, Take fair, honestly. Shot. Yeah. Uh, it actually is these dudes next. Yeah. Uh... Uh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, shots at grass time. Mm -hmm. 
What are you looking at? Uh, so that's going to be six blaster damage. Nice and clean. Do you have any soak? I have one soak. Okay, oh, so it's okay. five damage. <laughs> yeah. Oof. That And that's like the one who just got shot is trying to like wrestle with you. You know, trying to hold you in position. The other one managed to take just to get a clean like gut shot uh, with the blaster down at you. And luckily your big old chunky vest and clothing does take a bit of the blast. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to seriously <laughs> hurt. Um, next is you, Gratz. What are you doing? All right, so what am I looking at here? There's like this, obviously these two dudes, and it's just this giant Big console. Yeah. Yeah. Behind like old cables shooting out, all that sort of thing. It could be either a computer yeah. or a mechanics check to rig it. It is going to be high difficulty, but I am going to give you a blue because of your triumph earlier, and also blue right. from me. And you also get another blue from him, so you can have what two blues on it. I actually want to do. <laughs> uh oh. It, still doing the same thing but i'm not going to try to rig it this turn i'm going to try to get inside of the console <laughs> <laughs> and a, a make it so that they cannot shoot at me with shooting the console and b try to make it a little easier to like see the inner workings of this thing because gratz has very much that mechanical mindset yeah it's like yeah a, you're gonna disable it from the, the inside instead of using yeah. the weird imperial console Absolutely. Like I'm not trying to hack it. I'm trying to. This is still it to a mechanics check. Uh, okay. I, love... I have set the difficulty. Feel free to go when you're ready. I love the image of this guy wrestling How? with Gratz, and then Gratz just sort of slithers into the console. He's like, what? <laughs> "No, it's oh, even I better because that. Gratz tries to get into the console, and this oh. guy's like got him by the legs, like picking. <laughs> no, he's trying to. He's trying to go inside the hyperdrive. I'm not trained I... for this. Yeah. I'm gonna use that." Two advantages to try to do that again. <laughs> you don't like, have, uh, you don't have one yeah. of the blue dies for this, so go ahead. Okay. That's okay. Neat. Uh, just let me know when I'm good. Go ahead. Just like <laughs> fucking kicking. Yeah, you eventually oh, like just you kick, kick the dude in the face like God. <laughs> He's gone. It like opens the hatch and there's just nothing. To... He's gone. <laughs> Just hear muffled <laughs> laughter come from inside of the console. And then you're electrocuted for a strain, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Smell of burnt <laughs> fur. Grant <laughs> 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 is just a mole, and his, his ground is just the walls. <laughs> you let him get in, he's gone. <laughs> Voka. It's your turn. It'll be a maneuver to just back up to the others. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, I'm back just gonna do that. I, I don't have the strain to do much more. Hmm. Okay. I want to shoot the grav lift doors so that no one can come down the grav lifts to join our fight here. That is what I would like to do presently. Okay. I'm gonna use a dark side it. point on that. Yeah, <laughs> that's responsible. Honestly. Yeah. Go ahead. It's set up. Let me know He's got... now. Okay. Yeah. Good. He's got. Oh, it's still good. Lift. Still great. Oh yeah. my god. And, and this is actually perfect because you do see the turbo lift like symbol for it coming down, it blinks mm -hmm. up, and you're like, mm -hmm. nah. -uh. <laughs> How many civilians did I just kill with that grav lift now dropping into the street? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the real question. Um, that's a good point. Those things are the total yeah, lifts without like power yeah. are terrifying. Yeah. Um, okay. You don't know exactly take... what happens when you sh You hear like a grinding and the console yeah. like flinks all sort of colors. Uh, okay. But you don't know exactly how that's going to happen. You're, not, you're probably going to no eat the turbo lift out. Let's put it that way. But you it's know, like... shoot a console. Always yeah. good. Randomly like two turns later. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse <laughs> waiting Finally. for the Wilhelm scream. Uh, I am gonna take two strain and shoot at the naval officers. Okay, uh, as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go I'm ahead. No oh my god. Beautiful. That's gonna take one of them out, and you got another two uh, advantage if you want to play with it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I mean, I do want to. I want to add another boost to Gratz's next. Check. This is excellent, right? Because like. The one you shot was the one wrestling with him. And he's like, yeah. where did he go? Where did he go? Just, 
Ow. Shot in the, like, <laughs> the back of the head. <laughs> he's just done. Oh. Yeah. I like the, the thought that he's on top of the console now, too, so it's going to be even harder to get him <laughs> off and then get Gratz out. <laughs> uh, uh -oh. All right. That guy, the last, uh, the, the Navy Trooper is going... Uh, to, like, and he was concerned about the console, but then suddenly psh, he looks over and not only is there Jack, there's Volca. He is going to immediately <laughs> try and shoot a shot at Jack. Jack has cover. Look at covered in blood. Alien blood. <laughs> yeah. What what color is Duros blood? It's probably weird. They're blue skinned, so it might be blue. Or orange. Yeah, they're going to hit you, Jack. That's going to be a six. Green! <laughs> uh, six damage. Green blood. Yeah, he's covered in green blood. What's your situation, uh, Jack? Still alive. Okay, they have a threat. Um, so that's uh, you know, that's that's perfect. Um, I'm gonna have them actually like tumble prone at this. They're like, oh, fall down uh, the the screen where you can see the throbbing uh, hyperdrive. Good. Grats. Good. All right, now I'm gonna try to start rigging this spaceship to blow up. Okay, you have two blues against all this. And that's These. mechanics? It is gonna be a mechanics. Cool. Do you wanna use a light side for this? Actually, that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. Yeah, all right. There's no way this can fail. There is many ways this can fail. Oh my god. Like that. that. I love, is, I, Gratz has fail. to say that in character. There's yeah, no way this does, will fail. Luckily, you can try it again, I guess. But. I'm going to use, yeah, two of those advantages to, I guess, heal a couple strain and the other two just try it again. Okay, okay. Probably won't upgrade it this time. Mm -hmm. Who needs the force when you're as smart as me? <laughs> <laughs> That's Is that also right, in honestly. character? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does the Grats know about the force? The answer, it's a religion. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. people hear about it. Uh... And you, you just snap the right thing in place, you know, and that's it. You're, you're hot wiring like the inside to, of the hyperdrive. I like to think that the thing that wasn't working was like a USB cable and you like just flipped it the other way and it didn't work and then you flipped it back the way and then it works. And then suddenly the inside of the hyperdrive bay just floods with red light and just an alert sign on all of the consoles uh, and a timer. Uh, Should we break the consoles so they can't, I, like, I, reverse it? Yeah, I guess that's my turn, is that. Yep. That's that's me. Excellent, 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 excellent. Volca, my dude. It is... No, it's not Volca's turn. It's, 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 it's tr tr Trooper Dude. No, it's not Trooper oh, Dude. Oh, no, it's, it's, not trooper dude. it's New Dude. It's, it's gonna be Dalo, probably. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's other Turbo Lift. Mm-hmm. Because there were two. Mm-hmm. Other turbo lift, you say? Psh, no. There, like you hear grinding from that turbo lift, and then blasts uh, from inside it that start melting the metal. Uh, oh shit! The blast from his disruptor just stop, and like he just grabs and starts pushing through. And while it's clear it's Officer Darlo, he's. Very different from the last time you saw him. He's full body burns. Um, you can see, like, the first part of him that comes out is just this burnt hand. It's even getting even more burnt from the uh, the molten metal. And there's this cool, um, kind of like a uh, spine up his arm of Bacter injectors. And once he gets his arm out, from the burn wounds oozes blue Bacter. He's so mm. saturated in it. And so he just kind of pushes through it regardless of the pain. Or at least tries to. Uh, we left him in too long. We left him in too long. <laughs> He's going to like growl out and say, Of course it's you. You pitiless rebels. You Alderan, that professor. You all think that protests and peace will bring order to the world. The Empire will bring the only order. I have justice. never heard you speak before, and it is really unpleasant. <laughs> as he's, and he's like like pushing through the metal as he's doing this. Uh, I I'm am... behind cover still right now. The so, uh, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. 
It's gross. <laughs> you can just hear. Door. You can just hear it, and it's disgusting. <laughs> you both the doorway. doorway both through. our heads. Please cease your talking. <laughs> He's good. gonna push through the turbo oh my lift God. door. Uh, still with enough of it to give him some Those cover. Stats. And he is going, uh, and you can see the disrupt, and he's just going to ready it at anyone in the room. Uh, but can he use a triumph to immediately make another action? He does something vital to change him the scene. To, him vital changing the scene is him entering the scene yeah. and crawling out of a turbo lift by shooting it open. Um, yeah. So you're good. Next is uh, Voka. Okay. Just uh, shoot him. Yeah, just yeah, shoot you know what? Just, uh, I think I am going to use a light side and auto fire shoot him. Uh. <laughs> just fucking unload. Okay. Uh, now, wait, 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 and this is auto fire, so uh, I have the one extra difficulty from what yeah, it I've would done be. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, ready to go. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, it's up to you. What do you want to do with that triumph? That could be a crit. That could be whatever. Oh, it's gonna be a crit. Oh, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a crit. Go, yeah. please, uh, roll me a d100. I really hope that you just fucking knock out all of his Bacta injections. <laughs> just... Oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby! Nice. It had to be. It had to be now. Maximum chaos. <laughs> oh, that's so... That's... This is so fucked up. That Shattered Senses, you spray and shoot and shoot him in the face. <laughs> and like just he and he just take he just takes it staggering I, moving but he takes I'm take it. two strain and fire again <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay uh, he would have uh, also taken a strain from that uh, uh yeah. threat of course that, that that I literally oh, that's as much strain as I can take I have one more and I go unconscious so let's go please do wait I haven't got the difficulty oh, set. That's I haven't got the difficulty set. Really bad, set. Oh, buddy. Oh, really back, back, really back. back. Please roll again. Yeah, I clear it after most of the rolls. Am I meant to have a black dice? Yeah, he was. He's in cover okay, yes. of the molten slag. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, <laughs> it's holding on to him. Oh, damn it! I'll heal to strain. Okay, <laughs> Good choice. That's fine. I'll take that. That first hit. That's fine. That's messed up, dude. You shoot him in the head. And all over, like, and, and just as Will said, you know, the, the Bakcha tubes that are all over him. You just shatter some of them and it sprays all over the place. And there's a very telltale uh, kind of spell, uh, smell of, of the Bacta flooding the room. That second shot missed because Vorka's not used to shooting someone in the head and them not going down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're like, like what? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Jack. <laughs> I mean, what else is there to do other than shoot at our boy here? Mr. <laughs> Mr. Lad? <laughs> Mr. I, Lad, yeah. I, I guess I've gotta I've gotta shoot him. I'm gonna uh, add a dark side difficulty to that boy. Yeah, that's fine. Just a little, little tweeze it. Okay. Let me know when you're set up. Go ahead. I'm just gonna use that to shoot again. <laughs> uh let me know when. Go ahead. Yeah! yeah. That, and that's exactly like Voka. Like, you shoot away the the metal surrounding him and just get a clear yeah. shot. His soak is lowered because you shattered the back up, so he does take more damage than before. But he still <laughs> just shrugs and just start. He's almost like a zombie at this point, you know? Uh, moving forward. Very good. Next is the... Fucking Imperial Navy Trooper. Oh yeah, he's oh, yeah. on this. <laughs> he's like on the ground. He's like, sir, sir, what's happening? <laughs> like, 
<laughs> oh. Go to sleep now. Shoot them! So the hyperdrive. Run or Shoot run. Them. You could run. Alternatively, maybe live. Live to see another day. This Choose to live, my friend. Voka. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Voka did just shoot his commanding <laughs> officer in the head. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Like, Voka's just like, what the? And it's just fine. Like, you're so still. You're so shocked of this that he's going to get a clean hot, uh, pistol shot off at you. That is going to be nine damage. Minus three. Minus me. your soak. That's exactly enough to knock me out. Okay. okay. I remember I do have an auto yep. stim pack in my backpack. Please <laughs> roll for me a uh, d hundred. That's not that bad. Forty three is not that bad. high. That's lower. Okay. <laughs> you you actually lower. end up suffering an additional strain. This doesn't actually affect you that much. This would be bowled over. Like oh. this would have matter a lot if it was in whatever. Um, Okay. You know, I'm glad I healed the strength yep. master. Oh, yes. Yep. You just hit the ground of a, 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 a clatter. And this dude, at this point, this Imperial guy, you can see he's, he's white. He is so terrified. He's going into, like, shock. He is a non-entity in this fight at this point, as he is essentially strained out. Uh, he is freaked the fuck out. Uh, next is Gratz. Inside the oh. machine. I just start like climbing out and then I'm just like, what the hell is going on? And then I just, as my head comes out from the panel, I just see this scene unfolding. I'm like, oh my God. And I just instinctively pull out my blaster and attempt to shoot him. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> um, you have one difficulty and nothing else. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> uh, that, so that, that's, that, could, that could trigger a crit if you wanted. Oh, oh, probably, right? What's yeah. the crit of the holdout blaster? Is it four? Four, yeah. Yeah, you could yeah. trigger a crit. Four crit. Cool. You should it, okay, well, so that's a D100 plus 10. Yeah. Okay. How much damage that's does the holdout amazing. blaster do? Uh, five. five. Yeah. Five. Yeah, so the damage is this, inconsequential. This is the first time I've ever fired a weapon in this camp. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> this is true. It's a fucking crit. And a proper crit too, oh, not a triumph oh, crit. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, uh, he's hamstrung. He loses his free maneuver, which means he has to use strain to use any maneuver right now. <laughs> uh, so you just like shoot I, him. like, And because you're coming out of the console, you just shoot him like in the thigh. <laughs> like in the hip, and it's just like blasts the chunk open. It's like, I'm gonna take two straight and shoot him again. Okay! <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just panicking at seeing this. This is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Gratz! If Gratz gets the kill on Dal. <laughs> He's up. No. He takes it. Okay, that's my turn. It's a single threat, it's a single strain. Like you said, you are- this is terrifying. Yeah. Darlo, funnily enough, has zero strength. Weird. So he is gonna go pretty ham. Uh-oh. This might be white. He Didn't is going to like here. whip a- His, his, his aim is Jack. First and foremost, the, he, he wants Jack down. So he's going to go against Jack first. At least his sensors were shot out. And by sensors, I his mean His sensors were shot out, which <laughs> means he can't gain any blue dice anymore. Uh, yeah. So you That's behind good. cover. Damn. Black. I'm going to use a little uh, dark side. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I might go down here as well, by the way. So. Yeah, I am down. <laughs> like, they're, they're, oh I'm, beyond. I'm beyond. Oh my god. That's the, yeah, there's no, yeah. there's no nothing on that. Okay. Uh, I need to check the rules for disruptors real quick. Oh yeah, I might yeah. just, I might actually just be disintegrated. You might like, have just turned to like ash. Yeah, genuinely. Yeah. I don't think so. It's not that mean, but there is, there is explicitly something about this kind of situation. 
No, I'm I'm pretty sure in, I in did law just that's exactly what happens. In law, but this is not. Yeah. They're they're a little bit. Nice. It might hit armor or something in the right place, sort of thing. Any oh, critical no. hit results in a specific thing. So you go down, uh, okay. and you are going to be. Uh, this is your first, because you actually were healed of your previous crit, so this only counts as your first crit, which is good. Because the way it basically goes with a disruptor, you know, it's a crit chart. He's always going to get at least blank on it. I need to get to the crit chart, <laughs> which I closed. Oh, okay, so it's like a, a disruptors have a worse crit chart. Yeah. Essentially, he's always going to roll on the worst stuff. Um, yeah, you are crippled. He always rolls 100, essentially, and then it's 100 plus. Um, oh my so which means God. you Ah, just oh, I think it's gonna be an arm It's gotta be, it's Star Wars You're leaning out with the pistol to try, try to take another shot And the disruptor blast just hits it And it's just gone and Jack, you see that for a second Before you white out And there's just like the sleeve of your, your jacket Empty You know, pistol clattering to the ground Well, I only need one arm to fly So, uh Darlo is then going to take another two strain. Jazzy puts him on five strain to shoot at uh, Gratz, who's also got uh -oh. the benefit of cover. I'm not going to dark side it. I'm not mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. Oh. Yeah, so we just party them. <laughs> it's a hit. Yeah. How much damage does it do? Ten? Ten. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, well, we're I have six wound thresholds. <laughs> So, okay. Mm -hmm. This is a gonna. This ended up a little bit of a Rogue One situation because mm -hmm. you mashed for hyperdrive. Darlo comes down with the disruptor, uh, taking uh, both of you out. Uh, Voka already out from the uh, the Navy officer. Now the thing is. You do have allies on the vessel mm -hmm. who, for lack of a better term, give a shit. Um, <laughs> That's their first mistake. Yeah, it, it is. Um, <laughs> I think when, once it becomes clear, you know, and, and this will be moments after where the alert goes through the entire Star Destroyer that... Uh, the ship will destruct. The ship will destruct in whatever. You know, you've got a Ronto carry an R5 uh, who've cleared the hangar. And uh, it's as simple as they can't afford to let you. Like, you haven't come back yet. They've got to come and help in one way or another. So I'm going to make one check for All each right. of them. Which one of us gets to play R5? <laughs> I, actually, I actually could do that. I could give you these characters for a moment, <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to do that. No. Um, it's going to be athletics checks for both of them. As the ship is evacuating all personnel possible with uh, in escape pods. Um, you know what? I'm going to roll resistance because it's the same for carry. You've got a bunch of leftover light side points, so I'm going to roll one. I mean, now would be the time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Can one of you just press that real yeah. quick? Upgrade. Difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. Not good enough. Another light side for Aronta. Uh, what? She Wait. What? Is crazy. The light side, dark side points are doing something weird. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just let it happen. We're running down the clock here. That's better. That's better. Aronta and uh. I was gonna say. 
You know, I, I'm, I, while you describe something else, I'm gonna message you Oli with a suggestion. I, I think I know what you're about to suggest. It's literally gonna be that Aronto can get through because all the stormtroopers are just running at this point. They, yeah. chaos. Not only this, but there's, you know, it's actually quite excellent. Carry, uh, carrying Aronto run through uh, with R5 as well. They see the gunned down corpse of Darlo, this monster from the stormtroopers. They just saw a, a, a horror, and they just shot. Uh, they get through. Aronta just like lumbers Jack over her shoulder. Carrie is trying to push, pull Voka, but like even the two of them can't manage it. Uh, is the the imagine that Voka would basically say, you know, come to enough to say, get Jack out. Yeah. I, I have I have a I have a, a stim pack. I would hand it to them and point to Gratz. Okay. Uh, you, Carrie takes that and does so. R5 just looks at you for a bit. And there's like no motion. There's no beeping. There's just a little couple of lights flicking. Um, Carrie can pick up Gratz. It's actually explicitly one of the rules of Gratz being so small. Stim pack him so that Gratz comes too. Gratz, you come back to consciousness seeing both you and Aronta, uh, both you and Jack being carried out, leaving Voka behind. Like you're looking back, Voka seeing... Just, uh, uh, before they go, just says, point my gun towards the turbo lift. I'll hold them back. And he's yeah. just gonna hold his hand, aiming at it. Yeah, R5 is gonna just, like, nudge it. And, uh... And he's gonna get... nod to the others. Yep, that's it. You two get brought back to the ship. You fly off into the distance it is going to be a ron to piloting i'm not going to make a check for that right now and uh as you pilot away there is this just sh shattering explosion boom of force crisscross of energy shakes the ship it would actually be and jack you would be getting like immediate medical tension as well so you would be like vaguely conscious of this in those vague moments of consciousness, all he'd ask, where's Volga? Like, both <laughs> Aronta and Carrie just look away and continue flying to the distance. And this is where we're gonna... Do you two want to do like a little bit of a quick little epilogue after a break? Or is there even... Or is there even not? Like, this is it. Like... They just fly off into the distance. I think they just fly off. They just fly off. This is a... Uh, They're going to need time uh, to work out what's going to happen next. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Mission successful. But at what cost? At the cost <laughs> of Voka. As Tess just said in the chat, that Voka yeah. was fully prepared for this donning the Republic colors to take out he the He didn't the Empire expect... There. Yeah, he, he didn't expect them to make it out at all. So if he's able to get them out, uh, at least he's happy with that. He he knew what he was going into. Mm -hmm. He's a soldier. Yeah. Or was. Yeah, Jack's and is not now. happy about it, though. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. There's all I, uh, all I can potential dark turn for Jack. All I can say is the last, like, scene of Gratz present is just going to be him all battered and beaten up, like, sitting in his room like spray painting a symbol of the rebellion on the back of his jacket. That's the the last scene, you know, the the teaser for the future. He cares now. You made me care more. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, uh, his death was worth it. Hmm. He, it it's all uh, it's all he could have ever wanted, a proper soldier's death. Absolutely. Okay, excellent. Uh, with that, uh, Star Wars Grey Market, Grey, Grey Market has ended. Grey Market. I don't know where that came from. Uh, <laughs> the Bostonian ghost and all his ghosts <laughs> trying to take him over for a second. <laughs> uh, the vapors. Um... <laughs> We will like most likely return to Star Wars in the future, whether it will be, you know, 
several years of, of these characters in the future or whatever, uh, this system's really fun! Uh, and it really uh, leads so itself good. to us. I'm pretty, you know, pretty, pretty damn happy with how this story worked out pretty much perfectly. Um, so thank you for everyone for hanging out and stopping by. Uh, we have a bunch of extra time. Uh, so, you know, uh, it looks like we actually get to, like, sleep today. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> we get the rest. Yeah, it was cool. This was, this was fun. I'm glad that we did this. Uh, hopefully starting in two weeks will be the next Sunday show, which is Amelia's Detective Agency. Oh, yes. Uh, we're all very looking forward to that. I feel like I understood how this system worked during this session. <laughs> like yeah. someone asked a question in chat and I was like, oh, I can answer that. And I was like, oh, I actually know how the system works now. And I was like, good thing yeah. this is the last yeah. session for now. But, yeah. yeah, this like we, we was we said before, this system is perfect for like short campaigns. Yeah, it's exactly. So we, we will almost definitely do this again at one day, someday. Um, yeah. We got a bunch of time, so why don't we talk about for once, Josiah? Like, you actually can ramble. Uh, <laughs> All right, talk well, about we yourself got and what you got going. Hour and ten minutes. Yeah, so we buckle got up. buckle up, <laughs> folks. Buckle up. Um, <laughs> it all started. Where to, where to begin? <laughs> when I was a young lad, <laughs> oh, living in the woodlands. 1978. <laughs> when I was living in the woodlands out in the north of Canada. Well, that's, that's just every, every day. day. I had that to roll day. my dice with disadvantage both ways. <laughs> both ways. I uh, I chopped a tree down today. That's really the, weird. The my thing friend, is, that it's my friend also went home and chopped a tree after we <laughs> went hiking. It's just <laughs> that kind of day. The it thing is, is, is it's we true, had... and that's the the <laughs> craziness. Like. We had daylight savings time, you go cut a tree Canadians. Down. Well, like, I was <laughs> gonna go help my friend chop down a tree this afternoon if I didn't have this show. Like, that was, that was my plan today if I didn't, if something <laughs> I was you know going to go chop a tree. You know what's nuts is that the entire population of Canada can fit inside of California. <laughs> And yeah. it's like the second biggest country in the world. So we just have trees for days. And yeah. like sometimes you just gotta go out and fuck one of them up for thinking they're a little self important, you know? <laughs> and this or is why we... for their sweet, sweet maple syrup. One of the two. This is yeah. such a D and D for blood yeah. after. <laughs> you chop down a tree and drink its blood, and yeah. that's how you baptize that's how you become a, a Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> Six weeks after it emerges from the egg. Yeah. Um anyways. <laughs> Here's the pitch. I got a YouTube channel. It's about D&D stuff. It's on YouTube. It's under Dungeon Dad. You search Dungeon Dad on YouTube, you're gonna find it. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of music that I'm working on right now too. So there'll be new stuff on the music channel, which hasn't happened in a little bit. So that's great. That's all I have to say. Okay. Bless. Thank as you for your service. You can ramble. You don't have hey. anything to ramble about. Yeah. Well, why don't we move on to Tesh? Our sweet Voka. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tesh of the Tesh Tube. You can find me uh, under that name on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Uh, you should follow me on Twitter to keep up to date about all the things I'm doing. Uh, you should follow me on Twitch if you like uh, The Division, Borderlands, Waterlands, uh, Border, Water, 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 Warframe. Waterlands! Is that Waterlands? <laughs> yes, says, me too. Uh, there's something and in the various water other today. RPGs. Um, I'm actually Water. planning on streaming. Two days time, not tomorrow. Uh, my Wednesday, but probably <laughs> starting about the same time. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, my Wednesday. Uh, pretty much everyone else's Thursday, uh, well, Tuesday rather. Um, and I'm gonna be streaming about the time this stream started. So you should come. That's good, I can probably raid you, which would be great. Hey. Excellente. And last of all, the protagonist himself. Jack. I don't know if I want that responsibility. <laughs> You're down yeah. two limbs. And Look, it's true. You are down two limbs. Of a Star Wars story. You're not wrong. You got a hand removed. I just, I just want to note something about that as well. Yeah, uh, please do. Just as a time. little, this is, this is the only little epilogue piece that I would like to add. Um, is that when Jack replaces that limb, he will be replacing it with a mechanical arm that reminds him of Boca's. Uh, race 
the original grace. Oh, so it would be like a big... Yes. Not big, big, Ooh. but big enough that it's... Yeah. it's there's, yeah. there's, a, there's a Star Wars character that does a similar thing where it's just like noticeably yeah. a little wrong. It's a little chonk. It's yeah, he, did, he needs he needs someone to be strong for him now because Voka's gone. So he <laughs> He's got to take a piece of Voka with him. That's uh, that's all he can do. But anyways, on a less depressing note, uh, I'm Will. <laughs> uh, so uh, you can find me on Twitter mostly right now. I'm not streaming at the moment just because my life is a little bit too crazy. I am. Uh, Oh gosh, I am working essentially two full-time jobs that are both running me overtime right now. So uh, I am not streaming at the moment, but I've got some cool announcements that are coming out soon that are related to secret projects that may have been teased for quite a while now, but I am actually gonna be <laughs> able to start talking about them next week. Uh, so unfortunately we're not on show next week, but when we're back, <laughs> that, uh, it means when we're back, we can go out with a lot more information. Exactly. So I'm, I'm looking forward to releasing that information soon. Um, so you should follow me on Twitter. But you should also follow Josiah and Ollie on Twitter for the same reason. But speaking of Ollie. Oh, that's me. Oh. That was the transition, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, you should follow me on Twitter. At the moment, I'm just, I, I just speak my mind <laughs> about whatever, <laughs> like shoes and cookies. Um, but my Twitter is the best way to keep up to date on things. If you haven't joined the Discord, if you haven't joined the Discord, what are you doing? Uh, the Discord is, is, is a fun place, and the more of y'all on it, the better it is. Because we get to talk about stuff. Uh, hopefully we can have a little bit of post-show discussion about this show, and also about what you might want in future Star Wars shows. Because let's be honest, I, I got plans... But not specific <laughs> plans. There's like what timeline? Like we could do more of this. We could do a different timeline. We could do different uh, everything. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of Star Wars to play with. Um, but in hopefully two weeks, maybe it might end up being three. Um, we will be playing back with Yavis here. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about Amelia's detective agency. Amelia is a character from the uh, A Mother's Love story of uh Gilwyn and Vale she uh was kind of an assistant to them for a little bit not that she would say that of course um <laughs> she is from the city of magic bastillion that has come up sh briefly in a lot of games this game is focused in that city uh the city of the vast cursed city of all kinds of strange religions city of rooks um there's a lot of cool stuff that we can explore in Bastillion. It is a detective game, so there's going to be some noir-esque um, tropes and shenanigans. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of really fun characters coming up for a lot of fun character dynamics. Uh, and also we're going to have Aaron again, which we're all really excited for. That's the most because exciting Because it's, it's her show. Agreed. She yeah. is like, I want to play more Amelia. And I was like, I, I will eventually allow this. Ooh, is everything going to be in black and white? If you imagine it, you can imagine actually, it all in black and white. I would, I would love to the see the film. A, might be in black version, and like white. Just one, one vod. Like you upload two vods. It's too much work for you. But if you upload two vods, one in black and white and one in color. <laughs> what am I made just of? For, just, time? just for Midori. Just for Midori. It would be I mean, cool. I, I, yeah, that would be cool. But oh god, the render time. Oh yeah, <laughs> not a good idea. But you know. <laughs> uh, I, I, we're all really excited for that. It's also excited to go, it's always excited to explore a different part of the Yavis gear because on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. GMT, we are playing Horn of Plenty, which is really fun, but is also a completely different continent to Yavis gear. So it's only ever tangentially connected to things that happen in the rest of the world. Um, so super fun, but a little different. Um... If you like Yavis Gear, we can talk about it more in the Discord chat. There's a whole bunch of people that are always willing to answer questions. There's also some of the homebrew I make for it. It's available on my Patreon. If you support for more $5 a month, you can get a whole new podcast. Um, the current season of that podcast is on episode 14. That's the second season. So if you give me $5 a month, you get... Like, each one of those is probably around three hours long by average. So, that's a lot of hours of content. More Yavis gear. It goes into lore. A lot of lore. Um, so if you like and you want more, you what are you doing? Um, that's the only way you're going to get more. Uh, what are you doing? 
What are you doing? Is it on your computer? Uh, I'm a computer. And we're streaming Fire Emblem. Uh, we, we, we're near the end of it. After Fire Emblem, I'm going to play a game I love and haven't played for a long time. I'm going to be... I'm not going to tell you about exactly when I'm going to do that because I'm going to be messing around because my life is changing. Um, but uh, probably Tuesdays and Saturdays. Who knows about the, the middle of the week. And that's it. I mean, a long blurb, but I got time. Uh, we're all excited to come back for Amelia's Detective Agency after that. And then after Amelia's Detective Agency, Narashira Dawn. So, you know... Enjoy Yavaskir while you can before they ruin it forever. It will all go up in flames. Welcome okay. to It'll the It'll all energy. go down in shadow. Well, More accurately. Eh. It will go up in shadow. Yeah, really, you know. We're going to need to work on this for, you know. You're going to need to work on the merchandising of, uh, yeah. Yeah, of this Look, one. the angry monologues will come later. We've right? already <laughs> spoken about changing the terminology and rebranding our, citi our citizens as not usurper elves, but something else. Yeah. Like reclaimers or something. You don't yeah. like that connotation? Yeah, it implies that. It implies that it's theirs to own in the first place. Exactly. <sighs> Reclaim is all like that. We're reclaiming our throne, bitches. <laughs> That's it. But that's going to be in like four months. So. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's a long time off. <laughs> that's going to be a wild plot and plan. That's just countless minutes of scheming time. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to leave you with countless minutes of scheming time uh, because we got done way uh, earlier than expected. That might oh. be because I murdered you. Uh, yeah. But that's fine, you know. I actually <laughs> only murdered one of us. Well. Um, that's it. That's your lot. Bye. <laughs>